Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to find step response and impulse response of a system in MATLAB. So we have this uh, system whose impulse response response in uh, Laplace domain is this. So we need to find its false zeros, its step response, its and its impulse response. Now. To find zeros, we know that to find zeros, we need to equate the numerator to zero. So after equating the numerator to zero, we get s is equal to minus one. So we have a single zero at s is equal to minus one. Our only zero is at s is equal to minus one. To equate poles, we need to we need to uh, equate the denominator to zero. So after equating the denominator to zero. Then we factorize this equation. After factorizing, we are getting two, two poles which are at uh, minus 6 and minus 5. Now to find the step response of the system, step we know that step is a 1 by s. The step response, uh, the Laplace transform of step response is 1 by s. So to find step response, we need to multiply 1 by s to this uh, impulse response in the Laplace form. So when you multiplied by when you multiplied one by s to this function, we get this. And after solving, we get this equation. Now to 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 find the uh, step response in time domain, we need to take the inverse Laplace transform. So to take the inverse Laplace transform, first we need to do the uh, partial factorization, partial factors factors. So we, I have separated this into partial factors. After finding these partial factors, we get this. Now we are ready to get the inverse Laplace transform. So we get when we get the inverse Laplace transform, one by fifteen of s is one by fifteen. This is s plus five. This will be e power minus five t and minus five by three e power minus sixty. So this c by t is the step response of the system of this uh, of this system. Fine. Now next step is to find the impulse response. So to find the re impulse response again we need to take the inverse Laplace transform. So to first, so to take the inverse Laplace transform we need to do the partial factorization. So after doing partial factorization, factorization getting a is equal to minus 8 and b is equal to 10. Now we are ready to take the inverse Laplace transform. So when we take the inverse Laplace transform we get this equation which is the impulse response of this system right? which is the impulse response of this system which was h of s not c of s h of s so now we will go to matlab and try and perform this so i have opened my editor first i want to clear all clear all variables and clear screen as well now what I will do that I need to define the transfer function in previous video we saw how can we define a transfer function so the transfer function can be easily defined by giving the coefficients of numerator and denominator the coefficients of numerator were 2 2 the coefficients of denominator were uh, 1 11 and 30 because it was s square plus 11 s plus 30 so we have this now we will name another variable c and call it transfer function of numerator comma denominator so this will give me the transfer function of this function fine now what i will do is that i need to find the step response i need to find the impulse response so to find the step response first i will uh, draw figure one and then i will say step of c this will give me the step response of the function fine and then I have figured I can title I can give a title which is the step response this is my step response and then for figure 2 I can find the impulse response by using the simple command impulse so impulse of C is going to give me the impulse response of the system fine and this is my figure 2 I can give it a title impulse response I can also sort the poles and zeros by using the pz map command so for figure 3 
I will use PZ map of this transfer function which is C. So let me run it. Hopefully we are we get all the three uh, plots. So you can have a look. This is my transfer function which is a continuous time transfer function, and now I am getting the poles and zeros. So this is my figure one, which is the step response of the system. Fine. This is my figure two, which is the impulse response of the system. And then we have figure three, which is the pole zero plot. So I have two poles at minus five and minus six, and I have a single zero at minus one. So that's how we find poles and zeros. Other method is that we can use the sims command. So how we will do it? Again, I will go to the MATLAB and I will use also use the command close all because I want to close all the figures. So first, I will need to use the close all. Then I need to delete all these. So now I have close all. I have cleared all the variables and I have cleared the screen as well. So what I will do that I will use the sims function. So I will use the sims as uh, for time being. Let's see and also see for example. So what my C is C is my that transfer function, fine. So if I say that for impulse response, for the step response, we have this equation for this thing. For the impulse response, we have this equation. So we need to plot. So we need to first define this equation as sims variable. So we will go to the MATLAB and we will say this was 2s plus 2 and divide by divide by s s cube plus 11 s square plus 30 Fine. So this was my equation of the. Uh, this was my equation when I uh, multiplied one by s with h of s. Fine. So now if I now take the in inverse Laplace transform of this function, I will get the step response of this function. So I will use the command i Laplace. So I have used inverse Laplace, and let me check what I am getting. All the variables are clear. I have this function, and the answer is why I'm getting the answer direct one by two. So two s plus two s cube plus eleven square plus thirty x. Inverse Laplace of c, not s. Sorry, because we need to take the inverse Laplace of c. So there we go. This is my inverse Laplace, and this is the same equation which we have derived. Here, if we can have a look here, this equation and this equation is the same, which is the inverse Laplace transform of this equation, which is the unit step response. So this was my unit step response, and I get the similar unit step response here. Similarly, if I make it as s square plus eleven uh, s plus thirty, which was my the plus transform as in s domain which was my uh, impulse response in s domain so this is going to give me the impulse response of the system because this is now impulse response with input as impulse in the earlier case we had input as a uh, step that's why we had one s greater here because to get step we multiplied by one divided by s we multiplied the uh, system function by 1 by s so this is going to give me the impulse response of the system so it's running hopefully it is going to give me the impulse so there we go this is my impulse response of the system and i can check it here as well if my impulse response of the system was this thing which is same as here so this is how we we can find the impulse response we have studied two methods of finding the impulse response if I want to find the impulse response 
in time domain as equation we can use we can use ss sims and we can use the i laplace command but if you want to draw the step response or the impulse response we can simply simply write step and that function that transfer function similarly impulse and that transfer function and similarly pz map is used to plot poles and zeros of that function thank you